Hi everyone. In this video, I will show MySQL Server troubleshooting problem in Xam Server. Okay. First, let me open Xam. Right click on this and run as administrator. It will ask for the permission. Click yes. Yes, guys. It is the control panel where you can able to start the Apache Tomcat and MySQL Server for database connection like that. So up to now we have seen how to start the apache tomcat yes once you start it you can able to simply access it localhost slash something you can able to access it for example if you would like to access main page like this you can able to access okay but if you would like to access the database part so if i click on page you might mean it is going to show that certain kind of error that is access denied this is one reason because you didn't start at the mysql server here if i click start button here so it is it is like something like started but after some point it is saying that mysql shut down unexpectedly so for that we need to solve and we need to resolve this so just go for the config operation uh, on the line of mysql just click here open the my.ini file here this file contains uh, the port number of uh, the MySQL. Actually, what happened in all our systems is we already installed MySQL in our systems. Okay, so for that default port number is double three zero six, and also right now we all installed Xam server, which also contains an internal server as MySQL. Now both MySQL servers, one is from direct MySQL server, another is through third party Xam server. Both are having the same port number. That is the reason it is showing some kind of error servers unexpectedly stop so what you can do is the simple solution is we can't able to change the exact actual server that is mysql server and we can able to change the port of the third party server which is provided by mysql so i, I will change this port number to 3305 instead of 3306 similarly there is one more uh, location this is here you need to modify it as Double three zero five. See, other than double three zero five, double three zero six, you can able to set any other port number, which are uh, not having any kind of predefined min. Okay, I will simply close it. Okay, now also if I start, is it going to be started? Yes. It is saying that status change detected running. Now it's okay, fine for me. It is started the port number double three zero five. Let us check whether it is working here or not. Yes. But it is showing there itself, it is uh, started the server. But once we come back, okay, fine. Let me come back here. Let me come back to dashboard and look for PHP Madwin. It is showing that again, welcome to PHP Madwin. It is saying there is some kind of error. So cannot connect invalid settings. Okay. So what you can do is uh, you can simply go for C drive. For, okay, let me go for the C drive where I have saved my exam folder. Exam here, you have an option a folder called PHM admin. In PHM admin, we have an option called config.inc.ph. Just click here and oh, you can open one file. And you can observe there is uh, some uh, local host IPv4 address. Here, we need to say, define the address. So, specifically, we define the port number if it is not setting any port number what will happen is by default it is going to take it as the port number as double three zero six so i am trying to change it to double three zero five double three zero five now if i if i go for the browser and if i refresh it yes your database part is open okay this is the way you can able to rectify your problem of uh, mysql connection okay